Next into the tank is a new idea in the outdoor furniture space. Hi Sharks, my name is Jake Liu. And I'm Terry Lin. We're the co-founders of Outer. We're seeking $750,000 in exchange for 4% equity stake Come in our company. Oh man, you nice Imagine man. for a moment, it's early in the morning, the house is still quiet. Your coffee just finished brewing. It's a perfect spring day, the birds are chirping, you look outside at your outdoor sofa, coffee in hand, you inhale deeply. Ah! The cushions are wet, and now so are my pants. We call that the soggy bottom syndrome. Sharks, that's just one of many problems with outdoor furniture. It falls apart easily, it's very uncomfortable, or they're stored in the garage somewhere, never to be used. At Outer, we've solved all of those problems. We've created the perfect outdoor sofa that's as comfortable as your bed and as durable as your camping equipment, all while using eco-friendly materials. Most importantly, no more soggy bottoms with our patent-pending invention, the outer shell cover. Let me show you how it works. In the evening, all you have to do is cover up and then pull the outer shell over, and the cushion is completely protected from the elements. If you know there's a rainstorm coming, all you have to do is take it and go with you. So wow. it's very easy to carry and very store. Very cool. In the next morning, there's gonna be a layer of morning dew on here, but all you have to do is open it up, flip it open, the perfect sofa ready for you to enjoy. So we've created the perfect outdoor sofa, but we realized that the shopping experience wasn't great. Typically, when you see an outdoor sofa, you see it inside in a climate-controlled environment where it never has seen sun, rain, or bird poop. So we've actually revolutionized the shopping experience. We've developed a proprietary peer-to-peer -peer showroom platform. It's where we convert our customers' showrooms into our showrooms. Oh. And in doing so, customers can see touch and feel the sofa before they decide to buy. It's something that we call the neighborhood showroom. It's the sharing economy for retail. So Sharks, who is ready to join us to bring life outside? How much does the sofa cost? So the sofa you're looking at right now, the three-seater is $2,500. Okay. $2, what I don't think that's bad. What does it cost you landed? So, so each chair is $800. So, yeah. so they're modular, by the way. I don't know each if cost, I Each retail you. cost is $825 $800, if you right. want to average it out. And then the cost of goods made is about 225 or so. 225. Yep, so I want to make sure I understand this. Yeah. Is instead of having a showroom where you have your own retail space, so to speak, your customers are opening up their backyards. Exactly. You got is, it. Do I understand that right? You got that perfectly. Yeah. So yeah. what do I get paid for allowing that to happen? Yeah, so we're testing uh, that right now. And uh, you, you expect to make about 20 to $50 per visit. And the platform that we built, when you, you have to book a visit, you can't just show up to somebody's home randomly, right? I get so, it. So $750,000, 4%, puts 18, eight, good math. 18 point seven million. Good yes. Math. Why is this worth 18 plus million dollars? Yeah, so Kevin, they're, they're, so the outdoor furniture market in the US is nine billion dollar oh. market. Oh, that's the worst no, thing ever. You watch the show. It's a very bad thing <laughs> then, to say. Kevin, how big is the bankruptcy market in the U.S.? <laughs> it's really, really big. Well, go ahead, Jake. Uh, we, we just launched about four months ago, and we did about $800,000 in sales to date. But you haven't made any money yet, have you? Uh, we're not making money yet. No Why $18 million? What's the reason? Yeah, um, so we... First of all, we just closed our last round uh, with our VC-backed At what valuation? That was $13.5 million valuation. And so that you was... came into the Shark Tank and raised it even more? How much do you project this year? This year, we're going to close out uh, at least a million dollars. Next year, we're projecting five. So how many partners do you have, and what percentage of the company do you two own? I own 60%. Terry owns 25%. And my family factory owns 15%. So another, another answer to the valuation is because we've actually taken out the risk on the supply chain. So they're essentially giving us this at cost, right? Your family's subsidizing you by not taking a margin because they own 15% of That's the right. business. That's right. right. Interesting. And we don't when have to pay back, for the inventory like... until we sell it. That's interesting. So guys, uh, you know the valuation is crazy. You know, you're gonna, you only sold 800,000, hopefully 1.5, and you're, you're evaluating it over $18 million. You know exactly what's gonna happen to you here, right? So I'm out. So, so 
For me, coming from Silicon Valley, I'm used to seeing massive valuations all the time. And, and I, I frankly, I've way overpaid for a number of deals that I think can potentially change the world or actually have a huge impact. I don't think it's, it's world changing for me. So for that reason, I'm out. Hey guys, guys, I think it's a great business. Could it be a $100 million business? Yeah, it, it really could be. But look at it from my end, right? Let's just say you do $200 million. Sure. And your margins are 10%. Net margins, you'd be thrilled to death. You're making $20 million. I'm making 5% of that. That's, I mean, that's, that's not bad money, but the risk reward for versus what you're asking just is not there. But to, the current D2C brands have a multiple of anywhere from three uh, yeah, to Yeah, but that's great. Yeah, and, you, and you found the VCs that pay those kind of multiples, right? Mm -hmm. That ain't me. That's not Shark Tank. For those reasons, I'm out. I like it. I, I really do. But I don't need any disrespect to the previous VCs. They are not Mr. Wonderful. I am. You may not like this offer, but I'm going to make it anyways. Three sharks are out, but Kevin seems interested in Terry and Jake's outdoor furniture company, Outer. You may not like this offer, but I'm going to make it anyways. Now, traditionally, to get back my capital, I would want some kind of cash flow in the form of, you know, maybe I'd make it debt or maybe I'd make a royalty, but I'm in a generous mood today. I'm feeling frisky. Oh, my and lord. So <laughs> I'm going to give you $750,000 straight equity. I want 20%. <laughs> I don't care if he laughs. He didn't give you any money. Um, I love to hear Lori. I love it. I want to be part of it. But you've just started selling it. How about this? Let me throw a different type of offer at you. So I give you a $750,000 loan as a line of credit, but I want $20 in royalty per chair. The royalty until I get paid back the 750 and to a million. Hmm. And then at the end of the day, I'll have 10% of the company. You know, Grasshopper, yeah. you've learned from the master. <laughs> that sounded like your kind of deal, I know. There's only one Mr. Wonderful, and he is amazing. I could easily do that deal and even beat it, because that's my kind of deal. She basically, Lori, learned that from the master. Would you match that deal, or how would you beat that deal? Ooh, uh, I, if I, you I, want him to match my deal, and you would pick him, then I'm going to go out. I'll do it. No. I'll, I'll do the deal. Seriously, you're going to lose me, okay, and we, that you'll regret talk, forever. I'll, I'll do her deal. Can we talk deal. about this? Forever. Mm. Let's, let's talk about it. He's going to match no, my wait, deal. No, wait, wait. Let me squeeze you her head a little bit. You should not even have to you think favor. about that. I feel like five, four, three, two, No, no, no. Two, I'll do you a favor. Yes, I'll do her now. deal. Wait, wait, wait. My deal could evaporate. No, John. I'll do her structure for 5% equity. That's ridiculous. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's Woo! ridiculous. Just to shake it up. Make a decision. Make a decision, guys. So, I'll go for it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so our counter to uh, Lori's offer is um, $750,000 uh, in loan, uh, and royalty will pay back to the 750. dollars And on the equity side, we would love to bring it down to 4%, what we asked for when we came in. You want me to get up every morning and be like, I can't wait to blow that up. I mean, you need that passion. You need that. And I'm worth it. I'm worth it. Kevin's willing to do 5%, 750. I think that's really attractive. But we, we do want to work with you. I, I, I feel that connection. So is there any way you can match that? We'll even throw in the million dollar. So it's million dollar payback to the royalty, but 5%. You want to raise the royalty? Uh, the royalty, like... Cookies, you want to kick up like the 20? royalty and I'll go down in the percentage? You can afford it, especially with how many we'll sell. Uh, what's your offer on the royalty? Well, why don't we go to 30? 30 works? I think 30 works. 30, 30 works, up until 5%. 1 million? 30? So 750,000 is a loan. Okay. I get $30 a chair until a million okay. is paid off. We'll make it 3% interest. And... 5% equity. Let's do it, Lori. Let's do it. <laughs> Yoo! Woo! It's good. This is so brilliant in the outdoor space. Wait until you see the other things. We're Honestly, up. it's brilliant. We're working on so many more products. I mean, Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Why would you ever buy anything else? <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you.